From Black Friday to Cyber Monday, the holiday shopping season has certainly started off with a bang this year. But aside from hitting the malls or logging onto the web, there was also a big push to visit local small businesses over the holiday weekend. Brenda Flanagan tells us why. People are struggling, so they're watching what they're spending. And that's a challenge for the folks at a boutique like Fox's. So how do you compete with a corporate colossus? We have very unique merchandise here. We were going to go to, like, to the Gap, but we were like, whatever. But I mean, the store is so good. We've liked everything that we've seen. Yeah. Pink Bungalow may charge higher prices, but the whole package includes serious perks. You're going to get somebody that cares and gift wraps and brings it to your car for that for you. And... and you know, gives you that service, that, that old downtown service. At the hot jewelry box, shoppers can browse the bling without getting run over by mall crowds. Smaller, it's less crowded, uh -huh. not a lot of noise. We have actually love this store, my daughter and I, right, Sid? Yeah? Why do you love this store? Because I like headbands and all of that stuff. Joining me now for more, Al Titone, who is the New Jersey District Director for the U.S. Small Business Administration, and Wendy Oliveras, who is the president of the Hudson County, New Jersey Association of Women Business Owners. Welcome to the show to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. First off, Al, why is it so important to support our local small businesses during the holiday season? Well, the local small businesses, these are your neighbors. These are your folks that are contributing to the neighborhood. You want to make sure that your main streets remain viable. You know, we studies have shown as main streets go down neighborhoods tend to go down so you want to make sure your main streets stay viable and these are folks that are hiring your kids they're hiring your neighbors they're contributing to the neighborhood so it's important to support them and it also sort of fosters this positive sense of community wendy doesn't yeah. it yes most definitely in what ways do you often see like like al just mentioned yes. do you often see your neighbors around town Oh, all the time. Uh, shopping locally is important because you're supporting your local shops, you're engaging with the uh, business owners, and there's more of a uh, family-oriented environment. And what effect does it have on jobs in the state? Well, I mean, in New Jersey, I forget the exact number, but it's 95, 97 percent of all businesses are small. Mm -hmm. So it has a tremendous impact on employment, on retail, Pretty much across the board, it's a lot of numbers. How important is it to support small businesses, especially business owners, especially women and minorities? Well, it's equally as important to support uh, women business owners because we also generate uh, revenue for our communities uh, with respect to tax revenues and wages and earnings, and we provide uh, many other opportunities for people to grow. Uh, so, but how does a mom and pop store make it different for me as a consumer? Can I come in there and get the big bargains the oh, way I do at the big, big market? Well, places? I think it's relative. Um, shopping large is significantly different than shopping small. You have a different uh, ambiance and the culture is different. But shopping in a small shop, you have more of a friendly environment and uh, it's, it's just more personable, uh, more personable experience. Now, the numbers show that Black Friday, Cyber Monday numbers were really up. That's a good mm -hmm. thing for this holiday season. But how did small businesses on Saturday fare in only its second year? Actually, the numbers were up. I believe it was something like 7 or 8 percent. It might have been more than that. But everyone was talking about how much traffic they got. I mean, anecdotally, from small businesses and organizations across the state, I've heard tremendously positive things. A lot of folks out, of course, the weather helped. It was a great day. Um, but now, now, many places in New Jersey, uh, we had also gone around and asked, and some of them didn't hear about it yet. Some of them had not. So are you going to work more toward in 2012 getting the word out about uh, Saturday, support your small businesses during the holiday season? We, we are definitely going to try. I think one of the reasons the SBA at a national level and signed on to this with because it was American Express initially that started it, mm -hmm. was that we wanted to make sure that the word got, I mean, that's what we do. It's small businesses. You know, it's exciting to us. So we tried to get as much press as we could this year, and next year we're going to try even more. A lot of it is local, obviously, because they're all small businesses. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we get as much local press as we can as well as the statewide press. So what kind of difference does it really make to... to promote diversity, to realize that it's important, especially in terms of business? 
I think uh, it's relative to the respective enclave. You have different uh, languages spoken in communities and cultures, so um, it's, it's just important to have the right customer service available to your community. And it makes a difference in the long run in terms of the business itself as well as the community? I think it's relative to both. I mean, one hand washes the other, really. And you, you agree? Absolutely. I mean, the diversity is what made America great. It would make the state great. So, yes, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now, so what do you see for 2012? And what kind of real challenges are out there, especially for small businesses? Well, you know, small businesses are always challenged, but there's a lot of things they can do. I, personally, I think the outlook looks pretty good for us. I mean, yeah, there are mm -hmm. things that could still get thrown in front of us as we go along. But from our, uh, from our perspective at the SB, we did much better statewide last year than we did the year before. Lending was up. So as I talk to small businesses, people are getting a little more hopeful, not across the board. You know, some sectors are still down a little bit, but I like I like the outlook. Barring anything crazy happening, I like the outlook. What makes you feel best about being someone involved with small business? Me personally? Mm -hmm. I just, as, a, as the president of the Nojabo Hudson County uh, chapter, I, I, just in, in, I just enjoy inspiring women to start businesses. Thank you so and much. Them. Next, trouble in Toyland. The toxic toys making the rounds just in time for the holiday. What well, you need to know when New Jersey now continues. Stay tuned.